talk about a busy, busy day on the dumpster side. Running two trucks today to get these, uh, all these guys out. We have been slammed, slam, slam, slam. Today is Friday, so happy Friday. Oh, where are we at? There we go, connected. All right, I'll be back. So, like I was saying, happy Friday. I know, I know, I know. I have not posted Jack nothing. It has been slammed. We've been busy, which is great problems. I have recorded a ton, a ton of half recorded days or half videos. And I have like three or four videos edited, but I never went back to finish the end of the video. So I need to sit down and record the end of whatever it is, that video of what happened. I have a really cool one uh, or just a cool job that we did for a contractor for Apple. That one was fun. Anyways, I'm going to try to be back. Uh, but like I said from the beginning, I promise nothing except for I will upload videos when I have time. So really what's coming down to it is the, uh, the editing. The editing time is killing me. However, I love doing it. it. I find joy and some fun in it, so I don't really want to stop doing that portion of it. So anyways, we've been good. We've been slammed. Today is Friday and it is busy. We have, let's see, so far we have delivered one, two, three, four, five. We have five deliveries done. It is 11.44. Uh, Tony, as you saw, was loading up another one, going to deliver number six. I have unloaded up right now, number seven. Then I got to come back and grab another one, number eight. And I have a possibility of a number nine going out today. Uh, Tony, pretty much after this delivery, he's going to be done for the rest of the day. We have a, a little deal that we do, some rentals for the uh, U.S. Forest Service and Every year, same time of year, they have a prescribed burn for this specific area. It's uh, Lake Hemet, but it's about it's about an hour away. So, you know, they don't mind paying for the mileage because they prefer having someone that's going to actually service them. They're used to the regular trash haulers failing them without question. So Tony's going to be about an hour plus to get out there, an hour plus to get to the landfill, and then 45 minutes to get back to the yard. So after that, Tony's going to be tapped for the rest of the day. Junk removal guys have been out um, doing their thing. Uh, actually, I haven't even checked up on them in a little bit. Not too sure uh, what's going on on that side of the business. I did see a few receipts come through, so I know they got some approvals going. Uh, but yeah, man, um, business has been good. Dumpsters have been good. Um, one of the videos I didn't post was, I think I didn't post, was that we had bought some more 20 yard dumpsters. Um, and we went from two to four and those four cannot stay at the yard. They are in and then they are dumped and they are going right back out. So I was just talking to my buddy Julian over at Heritage Hauling because I'm in a dilemma. I do not want to buy any more dumpsters for our Max D system. I don't. Um, I, I don't. And it's frustrating that I'm stuck into the system. I've said it before. If you're planning on getting into roll-offs, do not buy a non-standard rail system if you plan on growing your business. If you don't plan on growing your business, you plan on staying with whatever few dumpsters you get in your package, cool. Great system. It works when it, it works enough of the time. Yeah, it works enough of the time to be good enough for someone that doesn't plan on growing big. If you plan on investing and really going into the dumpster side heavy, by standard rail, the best, absolute best roll-off trailer I've found that's standard rail is Cougar. I saw them at the Lone Star Dumpster Showcase. A buddy of mine bought one here, Monarch Dumpsters. You may have saw we bought a couple 15-yarders from them last week. We also bought the 20s from them uh, a month and a half ago. Um, they picked up a, mon uh, not a Monarch system. They picked up a Cougar system. Super, super, super solid. Um, I have another buddy that I recommended. He's in a little south of me. Uh, SoCal haulers, so yeah, SoCal junk removal, so, SoCal haul, what? Yeah, something like that. Um, he ordered his Cougar setup, and I believe it's supposed to be here Monday or Tuesday. So if you're going to get into dumpster rentals, do not make the mistake and buy non-standard rail. This is why I am stuck. I am stuck. I have almost 20 dumpsters. I need to buy more dumpsters. I have two roll-off trailers. 
and I'm spending five, six grand on these dumpsters when I can go buy a used 40 for the same price ish around there. Um, I have to go buy a truck that can haul all these dumpsters and <clears throat> we're going to redo that. So I'm stuck and, and here's why I'm stuck. I have almost 20 dumpsters currently. I need more. I realistically, at bare minimum, need two more 20s because if you're in the dumpster side, if you don't have dumpsters in your yard, your mind tells you, oh, we're killing it. We're doing good. We're making money. No. If you don't have dumpsters at your yard, you're losing money. You're losing opportunities. You need to always have cans at the yard. If you don't have cans at the yard, it's time to buy cans because when those calls come in and you don't have anything, there goes your money right out the window. So I need to buy a truck that can haul everything on one, on one body. I need to buy an equal amount of dumpsters to do that truck. And whether it's a hook lift, a standard rail, a single axle, a whatever, I'm gonna have to spend at least 250 grand. And here's my dilemma. I have to spend $250,000, have a fat payment, take on that much debt to make the same amount of money. If I would have been smarter and I would have researched a little bit more, well, I guess back then there really wasn't a ton of info. There wasn't a ton of content out there. But if I would have gone standard rail in the beginning, all I would have been doing is buying a new truck. And yes, do I have current dumpsters I could sell? Absolutely. Do I have trucks I can sell? Sure. But my trucks are so upside down. This is the 2024. We just got it, what, a month and a half ago? 9,010 miles. I'm never going to get anything worth anything out of these trucks. These trucks will eventually be just work vehicles. A manager is going to have these trucks. I'll have a truck. We're not going to be able to get rid of the ramps. Okay. So what we have to sell is two very well used max D dumpsters, trailers, and almost 20 dumpsters that might make a dent in the down payment that I need. However, I can't sell this equipment until I buy a new truck and buy all new dumpsters and I, I'm, it's a catch 22. I have to go into massive debt to then wait for everything to be built, shipped out, delivered, on site, tested, ready to roll, and then slowly start to sell everything off. But because I can't sell these Rams, why would I sell the roll off trailers? We don't know what future growth looks like. We all know how expensive junk removal trucks are. We all know that a, a truck and a trailer can get a dumpster rent or junk removal job done. So the reality is I won't be selling the two trailers and I won't be selling at least two of the 20 yard dumpsters, which in reality would mean I'm probably going to keep at least four of the 20 yard dumpsters. So all I'm going to be able to sell are the five yard dumpsters and the 15 yard dumpsters. I'm stuck y'all but I need to buy more. Oh, let me see here. This here, oh, we didn't get the job. This is a property, I just passed this property, the job we bid a while ago. Um, and they've been kind of stringing us along, like, oh yeah, haven't made a decision, haven't made a decision, and the property's clean. We didn't get the job, oh well. So, it's just frustrating that I'm stuck, but it's no one's fault but my own. I, I should have tried to learn more about the roll-offs before I bought them. It is what it is. I'm here. Now we need to figure out how to go forward. The truth of the matter is, is I do not want to get into any more debt this year. I really don't want to buy any more equipment. I've bought a lot of stuff this year and I really want to throttle back a little bit. And I have told everyone around me that I'm not buying any more dumpsters, but the reality is it is what it is. And I have to buy more dumpsters. I probably need to buy at least three more 15s and two more twenties to really make it fully through summer. The nice thing about these dumpsters is they don't lose too much value. Um, out here in California, prices are ridiculous. Typically, I like to buy my stuff out of state because I can get it for multiple thousands of dollars less. Question is, where am I gonna get it? Who has my dumpsters is question number one. Question number two is who has the money <laughs> for me to buy these dumpsters? So um, I've always historically tried not to finance any of our roll off equipment, any of our dumpsters or anything like that. But um, I really don't want to start now, especially if it's something that's not gonna be long-term. So 
Anyways, that is the quick update. Uh, we are still alive. We are still doing junk removal. Uh, we have not quit YouTube. Uh, we're just busy, which is a huge blessing. And uh, yeah, I'll see what I can put together. I'll see what I can edit and we'll go from there. Dumpster number three for this client. Uh, this red one, of course, is not ours. That is another company. Uh, they did take the whole driveway though. That kind of stinks. The customers are having a hard time working around it, trying to get our dumpsters loaded. Uh, we dropped this one off this morning, then this one off later this morning. Came back and did a swap on this one, and we will most likely be doing a swap on that one. The tenants left a ton of stuff, unfortunately. Put my mic on. Um, this little DJI camera gets some great audio, but uh, the mic makes it 10 times better. At least I think so. You let me know. So, California tenant laws, landlord laws suck. There's zero favor for the actual person who made the sacrifice and the investment for the property. This guy's been trying to get them out since September and they left the place trashed. Absolutely trashed. I feel bad for him. He's a service member. He's got his dad here, his brother-in-law, some extra help. Um, and I mean, no one should have to go through this, but especially a service member, man. They, they, they are busy doing other things to take care of us. So it's frustrating. Uh, we are definitely taking care of him on the pricing for these dumpsters. Uh, like I mentioned, this is his third one and he will most likely need another one by tomorrow. Um, so I didn't think I was gonna be able to get this one swapped today, but I rushed over here and got here right before the landfill closed, like 10 minutes before they closed, so made it work. But um, that red dumpster, that's a ready bin. Uh, I believe they're a franchise. Um, actually, I looked into them years and years and years ago. If you've never seen their actual trailer operate, it's it's very weird, in my opinion. Uh, tons of moving parts. And knowing how much we have to maintain our current trailers with the beatings they take, I would never want a system like that. Um, it looks pretty cool though when it's dumping. Interesting. Um, but that is a newer company here in the last, or a newer company this year um, to our area. Fun fact, I was doing a little market research. Um, this is not including dumpster companies. This is just junk removal companies. I haven't done this in years and years and years. So basically I just have a spreadsheet and I go through all the companies that are actually trying to be legitimate companies, right? They have a name, they have a Google My Business, they have a website. Um, and in my area, non-franchise, and I stopped because I got tired. I was like, this is draining, this is too many people non-franchise people that are trying to actually have a real business. Can you guess how many profiles I found? Let me know below. Well, I guess it doesn't matter because I'm gonna tell you anyways. <laughs> but I stopped at 46 Google My Business profiles. 46 people, actually 44 of those people had websites, two did not. A couple of them did not have their websites working. Obviously, I'm not gonna really tell them unless they're friends, which they, none of these were. Um, a few that I found their phone number is not working. So I'm reaching out to the phone company, um, or my phone company, and I'm going to try to get those phone numbers. Um, why not? A few domains I found, uh, that were not working. Um, and I checked the domains and they were not available. Um, if you let your stuff slip and slide and you miss the renewals, that's on you. Um, I've picked up a few in the past and they have definitely paid off. So, um, the day's been crazy. We are ending the day with 11 deliveries. Goodness gracious, this road is horrible. Um, 11 deliveries. Very thankful. Um, I'm finally done for the day. I'm heading back now. We're going out to dinner tonight with some friends. Uh, the junk removal team, uh, Philip and Isaiah, they should be off. I believe they're off by now. Um, I haven't, th that team really runs itself, which is a huge blessing. Um, they really only reach out to me if they're having, you know, needing approval on some type of pricing adjustment. Um, if they're gonna fill up and they need another truck before they're gonna be able to make it to their next appointment. Um, besides that, they don't really reach out to me. So it's a beautiful thing how it runs on its own. Um, Tony was off. He got off probably about an hour ago. And then me here, almost done for the day. 
but it was a good day, fun day. Um, that's all I got for you. Have a great weekend, everybody.